February 16th was the day, it was our last game of regular season against UBC, and I tore my ACL for the second time um, in that game, and kind of, in, like I instantly knew when it happened that that's what that was the diagnosis. <laughs> I'd done it before, but it was a while ago. I did it when I was 14. Um, so it brought me quickly back to reality about what the rehab process and surgery and coming back and trying to get back to some level of volleyball that I can be proud of and happy with. I think like, I remember the first thing that happened, like I knew what I did right away. And I remember just thinking like, it can't be real. Like so many people on our team did it. And it's just like when Pex did it, I was like, you know what? That's crazy. But like, I never was like, that could happen to me. And I think when it happened, I was just like, whoa, like this is different. Not only like, for this year at Nationals, like not only our current goals, but also like our future goals. So many people this year are moving into new roles that they didn't have before, and we have had a lot of turnover, partly due to graduation and partly due to injury. Um, so I'm really trying to like be a mentor for those people because I've seen almost all of it by now, and I've gone through a lot of it, and. I started as a first year and I know what that feels like and I led as a third and fourth year and I know what that feels like to try and do. Um, and I know the people in this conference, I know their tendencies, I know the teams, like I just feel like I have so much to give and obviously I would rather be giving it on the court in terms of like contribution, but um, I'm trying to find every way to like contribute off the court. I think something that I've really noticed this year is like being able to help Adrielle since she's like stepping into my position. And I think we have a unique relationship in the sense that she's older than me, but I have more years of experience. We've been able to develop a bond that like not a lot of people have on the team of taking feedback, like the challenge of being able to perform like every night and how hard that really is. So I think it's kind of like given me a purpose to help her. I know that basically I have access to her wealth of information in practice. She sits beside me while I'm hitting and she just tells me everything that I'm doing wrong all the time and it's fantastic because I know it's not covered from a vindictive point of view. I think that the best way to approach it is that you're not being asked to replace the person that was injured unfortunately. You're being asked to step up in the best of your ability and that kind of takes the pressure off because if I had to walk in and be the next head of the ass Chuck, it's a little intimidating. So the idea is really to just keep going with what they've taught me. They're not going to teach me anything different. I just have to now work on my mental game to try to be as steady as possible within what I already bring to the table. I just want to bring like the confidence that I have in them that they don't see in themselves right now. Like, yeah, it sucks. I wish I could be out there. But I think like there's nothing I can do about it. So helping my team like grow and be better, like at the end of the day, like we win nationals, I'm still gonna get a medal. Having already spent five years here, like I have accomplished a lot and a lot of, I've like checked off a lot of boxes. And so I really wanted this year to be my last year. And I wanted, um, even though it's like a quick turnaround, it just felt right to finish my time here when I first got here in my first year, given the way that the team was, it was like I dreamed about having nationals at home, but like I never really thought that that was realistic um, given the place that we were at. And then the growth that we've gone through like over the past four or five years, like we've really become a team that like people get up to play against and like always expect greatness from. And I hope that like that's my legacy and I hope that that's what I leave behind is like this expectation that like no matter who's on the court, no matter who's contributing, no matter what happens, like the Dinos are like a force and no matter what, like ending on my home floor, like that's all I could have want ever wanted.